Yeah, there we go. Hello, everyone. I am Pyro Falcon, and this is the Book of Unwritten Tales Critter Chronicles, the Patreon choice stream of the month for Soul, who is in the chat, along with Cam and Ledge. If you are watching this on YouTube, don't forget to join us, usually on Saturdays at 3 p.m. Eastern, for more Patreon choice streams on Twitch. Uh, but for usually, I don't save the VODs, but in this case, for this game, I am. So, where we last left off, Nate got out of a Yeti's grip, thanks to the critter's help, and we are going to Chapter 3, where I don't fully remember what's going on, since it's been a month since I've played, but here we are. I do know that the poor critter was trying to get with his girl critter friend. Oh yeah, the environmental activist. Is my cursor showing up? It is. Alright. How can a book be about unwritten tales? Indeed, Lodge. Alright, so I have the guide up, um, but I'm going to try to use it as little as possible. Let's... We are clearly in control of Nate here. Let's, uh, let's talk to the lady here. Is that another castaway? I mean, why else would a normal person be here? Are, are you not going to talk to her, Hi. or...? Is that your trash? That is my shit. I crashed here. I have to warn you that this is a nature reserve guarded by Petra. Oh, jeez. I was just watching my audio readout. That is probably echoing. Always oh, tweaking. All right, let's uh, let's run through the dialogue to make sure my audio works right. Seriously, what are you doing here? I'm gaining frontline experience. The war is in the south. That's the war between humans, dwarves, orcs, and all other stinkers. This is the battle for nature. Who's winning? Petra will win. My animal rights organization. I like that her shirt says PETA, but there's a tiny little R right here between the T and the A. Uh, hello, Cam. I'm doing all right. Hopefully you're doing all right as well. I'm hanging in there. Nothing to speak of, good or bad. Very nice sweaters you have there. Handmade, of course. Store-bought clothing is made from wool stolen from animals. Um, if you don't want to take any wool from animals, what is your sweater made of? Sweated wool. What? What? Sweated wool. That's wool that the sheep don't want anymore. That's... How do you know that? What? I watch the sheep, and when it's so hot in the summer that they start sweating under their heavy winter wool, I ask them if I should cheer them. And what do they say? Yes, please. At least I think so. So those are sweated wool sweaters. Right! They're great! Just the smell is so... Natural. <laughs> I had an ignorant person once tell my family. My family uh, raised sheep. Uh, they are farmers. Were farmers. But I had a. I had an ignorant person once, like, sadly say to my mom something to the effect of, "I love sweaters, but it's a shame they have to kill sheep in order to get the wool," which is. Just fantastic. We uh, we educated that person, and then he felt less bad. It was really funny. Anyway, uh, Cam is requesting a the story so far. So Nate, who is here, voiced by the same dude who voices Geralt from The Witcher, uh, he stole an airship, which he promptly crashed because he is being hunted by a bounty hunter. And now that he is in this ice area, he's just trying to get out because, you know, he doesn't want to starve and freeze to death. Meanwhile, the critter is an alien of some kind who crash landed on the planet for reasons we aren't fully clear on. And he his colony cannot escape because the bad guys of this world have some sort of crystal that powers his spaceship or something. So... Critter is trying to get his crystal back, and Nate is just trying to get off this chunk of ice so he can go home, and they have run into each other, and that is where we are at. And what is Petra? Petra is still in the foundation phase, but it will be an alliance of the best, most committed, and most wonderful people. 
an association of men. We will have money, <laughs> influence, and wherever you look, our moral wagging finger will be waiting for you. We make money from donations and merchandising. Anyone can buy a clean conscience from us. And that's supposed to protect the environment? Exactly. Wow. Nate is uh, a bit of a troll, as you can tell. You I love him. here the whole time on a cold rock, watching the landscape? Don't you ever move? I mean, you need to eat. That is a problem. I did make some sandwiches, but they're all gone. And there isn't really much to eat here for a vegemaniac. A vegemaniac? <laughs> I don't eat anything made from animals. The animals might eat, or the animals have already eaten. I'm also against magic flavor enhancers. And what if you accidentally ate a piece of meat? Oh, I don't even want to think about it. I once almost ate a beetle that fell onto my peach stone granola. Had me barfing for days. Wow. All right, what are you protesting against? Everything that's wrong with the world. <laughs> You've got your work cut out for you. The war, the destruction of whole cities, the exploitation of the workers in the weapons industry, the abandoned orphans. Come off it. That's their own fault. I'm worried about those who can't protect themselves, the animals. And how do you do that? For example, in Stakeborough, I went from farm to farm and freed two dozen cows. They all died that winter because they didn't find enough fodder. But better dead than a prisoner of the meat eaters. I'd rather be free and alive. Wow. I took a piece of leather from one of the farms. It's to remind me that I've done something good. <laughs> You're a Holy shit. It's 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 a little less funny knowing that there are people actually like this in the world, but it's pretty damn funny. That piece of leather. Can I have it? Wait, what? What do you want it for? Uh I guess I'm getting an item from her. Did all I want to do good with it. I want to do a lot of good with it and point out injustice. With a leather rag? Of course, because it isn't just any leather rag. It, it's Petra's leather rag. I will roam the country with it and tell people the inspiring story of the courageous and generous... Oh, forget it. You wouldn't believe me anyway. What? Uh, it'll be a memento. I'd like to have a memento of you. Oh. Well. Why? Because we're so smitten I with you, Petra. Someday you'll be famous. Really? You're reckless, egomaniacal, and completely crazy. You'll go far. <laughs> Thank you. And I want to be able to say, I knew her when she was only getting on our nerves in the Northlands. All right. Take the leather as a memento. Ah, uh, appealing to the ego. I've got to go. That's a winning strategy. Uh, All right. So, what's your name anyway? Petra, of course, just like my organization. I'll remember that name. Petra, Petra, don't talk to Petra. Petra is crazy. Stay away from Petra. Got it. Nate, I could kiss you. All right, let's look it through her stupid crate that she's left beside her. Hmm, a whole lot of useless junk. Caps and t-shirts. Fur hats and thick gloves would be more appropriate. By the way, how's the game audio? I'm looking at the audio read, and it's about where I want it, usually, as a broadcaster, but sometimes that's a bit quiet for you all, so please let me know. Take a t-shirt. The t-shirts would only keep me warm if I set them on fire, and Petra would probably not be happy about that. Take one anyway. Or don't, all right. That is a total catastrophe. Even if I knew anything about airships, it would take me weeks to repair everything. That's uh, weeks. That's that's scuttle the ship and start I over may not damage. Be behind bars now, but I'm still a prisoner. A castaway oh. on a sea of ice. Oh, it's all right, Nate. We'll get you out of here. 
Why is there never anyone around when I say something profound? <laughs> the debris is scattered for hundreds of yards. Doesn't look good for the old girl. Uh, okay. Maybe I, I can pick up that log. So much in my or plank. Over when you're steering your ship through a region full of flying islands, you ought to look forward once in a while. Yep. Yeah. He crashed into the side of a mountain because he was not paying attention to where he was flying. Hmm. It looks like somebody cut a hole in the ice to go fishing. I could build a fishing rod out of several components and catch me something to eat. Oh god, yeah, you've got to be hungry. Tons of fun. You've got to be hungry after how not. long you've been a prisoner here. It looks like some Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I don't have a fishing rod at the moment. Let's talk to Critter. Can you tell me what I should do now? Hmm. You mean I'll die a little less quickly back there? Terrific. So he wants us to meet his people. All right, let's head to the next area then. Critter, you lunatic. You have your hideout back there? Poodoop. Poodoop. Why not? It can hardly get worse. I would say hey. I would say that, but it, it's not as catchy as, like, a soul soul from The Sims. Does all this junk belong to you and your people? Do you know how to use it? I mean, could you maybe repair an airship? Oh. Okay, here's the plan. You help me to repair the Mary before Zazzy shows up, and then, of course, I'll help you somehow, too, all right? Um, no idea. Do you have something like a leader? Take me to your leader. Hmm. All right, well, bef oh, I'm being forced to. Okay, fair enough. Oh, now I'm not. All right. Uh, yeah, I... <sighs> Nate's kind of selfish, but he's also a decent dude, so it's... If this chair were on a beach on a tropical island and I had a mead in one hand and an almond-eyed beauty in the other... Oh, uh, I would love an almond-eyed beauty is, right now. a wet old chair in the middle of nowhere. Uh, hashtag not a pervert. D yeah. Yeah, we'll go with that. A treadmill with a penguin in really good shape. And this device generates some sort of energy. Is that why I like this game so much? Because Nate is my people. I'm not touching anything to do with magic. What? Magic? Nate, the hell's wrong with you? Ugh. Maybe Nate is not quite my people. I love his little swagger walk, though. A large metal barrel. It's filled with a foul-smelling dye. A foul-smelling dye? Hmm, what you mean could paint? I use the dye for? Ah, That's what. For for nothing. Great. That's one of those tricky things that I've had to deal with um, with my novels, trying to figure out a balance between when to use certain words, because you wouldn't say the word paint if you're if you go back far enough. It would be die, I would th figure. But at some point, I just said, "Fuck it. I'm just gonna use modern English because everyone who's reading it knows it's been written in modern English." So, why should I confuse the reader? A metal spring. Really strong. Take it. Because if I know the book of unwritten tales, you look at everything you can look at and take everything you can take. It's all the useful. The metal plate looks rather heavy. It's sunk into the snow. No idea what it is or was good for. In any case, it's too heavy to drag around. Hmm. Well, it's going to be useful the at some point. Okay, let's look at this little air vent. A fan. It pushes cool Northland's air into the mountain. Without fresh air, it would probably start to smell pretty funky really fast in the critter's cave. Long, wet fur. You I know... I had a dog, Stinker. He was a stray. Whenever he got wet, ugh. <laughs> but I digress. You don't know the word paint, but you do know the word funky. That's cool, Nate. You're real cool. Your leader is in there? How does it open? Who 
there? No hurt. What want? Um, I need help with my airship. It crashed out there on the ice sheet. Human, help! We cannot spare anyone. We have to prepare for Munkus's return. Um, hello? Munkus? The son of the Archwitch Mortroga? What do you know about him? I, um, I met him a couple of times, when it couldn't be avoided. What's your business with Munkus? He stole something from us. Our heart. Well, there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> it's an important part of our machine. Without the heart, we have no energy and are stuck here. Who are you anyway, and what are you doing at the end of the world? I've never seen creatures like you before. If we had fulfilled our mission, that would not have changed. Your mission? We are scientists. Explorers. We boldly go where no one has gone before. <laughs> you hit the bullseye with the Northlands, eh? How, how did you get here? Where's your ship? I have already said too much. We should not have made contact with anyone. Observation. That was our mission. There are... I know it's not being picked up because I deliberately get good equipment and position it correctly. My apartment sits in a specific spot where I've got open windows to my left and to my right. And on both sides are separate groups of very loud young kids who are screaming very shrilly at the top of their lungs. So I've got stereo screeching in my ear while I'm trying to broadcast right now. I don't think I've ever had any worse distractions than this. Wouldn't it be better to talk face to face? I'm sorry. No one may enter our sanctuary. I come in peace. Others have said that before. You are not prepared to discover our secrets. Huh. Oh, the screeching was picked up? Oh my god, Pyro, that's what water balloons are for. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. I'll, ta or I'll turn the hose on them. Ugh. These kids are not practicing good social distancing. By which I mean they need to stay the my hell away from my property. I have no tools, I have no spare parts, I have no experience in airship repair. And on top of everything else, there's a bounty hunter after me who I, I maybe shouldn't have ticked off quite so badly. I really need help. I am sorry, human. But my crew and I have been stuck here for two years and can expect no help from home. If we do not have the heart by tomorrow evening, we will have to wait another year for a window to travel. And I will most likely not survive another year. We make it. Don't worry. Well, let's help each other. Yeah, exactly, I Nate. I help you with your problem with Munkus if you help me to repair the Mary. So far, we have only met two humans. One runs around in a yeti costume and is eager to catch himself. The other is Petra. We do not have great trust. <laughs> <laughs> we aren't all like those two. I, I could help you get your heart back. Bunkers has it in his submarine. What makes you think you could get it back? Uh... I'm a master of persu- No, Nate would say he's a skilled thief. Munkus won't even notice I've stolen your heart from him. I'm a skilled thief. Indeed. That would be a possibility. As soon as we have the heart, we need less than an hour to begin our journey. Well then, let's do it. Repair my ship and then I'll bring you the heart. Not so fast. We place ourselves in great danger if we oppose Munkus. You must first Prove that you really are a master thief. Could these eyes lie? Go to the human woman Petra. She appears to have stolen an important antenna from us. Bring us the antenna as proof of your abilities. <laughs> then we shall see. But... Hurry! Time is of the essence. She didn't right. steal the Probably antenna. In the last you chapter as voice. Critter, we gave it to her for some the reason. human must prove his skills alone. Come in and bring me my medicinal brandy. Medicinal brandy? Okay, bye, Critter. Be safe in there. Alright, let's go steal that antenna, shall we? Um, doesn't... Oh, wait a minute. This is new.
A furball is sitting somewhere in this sanctuary and talking to me through a pipe, even though I may be dozens of yards away. It's impressive how far modern telecommunications have come. Almost frightening. Ha ha. Oh, I can actually talk to them. Nah, better not. The old guy doesn't sound in very good shape. I'll only bother him when it's absolutely necessary. Fair enough. Uh, check the door. What are the critters hiding in this cave? If even somebody like Munkus is after it, it must be incredibly valuable. Check the door again. What are the critters hiding? Oh, nothing. Okay, great. Go. Go this way, Nate. All right, let's see, uh, what we can do. But yeah, in the last chapter, we gave her the antenna for her sign. But I don't remember why. I think we traded it for something from her. Hey, Petra, can I have the antenna back? And see if she's Hi. willing to give it to me without any nonsense. You're bothering the animals. I, what? What animals? I would love to help you in your work and protest back there. Excellent. But I would need the sign. Do you think anyone could have a protest sign? That has to be earned. Does it? Uh, what do I have to do? You must meet three conditions to earn the right to carry a Petra sign. Oh, my God. First, you can't eat any meat or use any animal products. Sure, okay. Second, you must donate all your worldly goods to the good cause. That means you have to give it to Petra. Third, you have to... Thanks. That's enough. Okay. I really need your protest sign. The animals need it more. As long as I'm here, I will carry it with pride. Not a chance. I have to get rid of her. We'll figure it out. Let's head to the Yeti cave. I've got to go. Okay, but don't forget that every earthworm you rescue makes a difference. Does it? I rather doubt that. <laughs> it's true. The sob of an earthworm here in the Northlands can trigger a typhoon in the South Sea. I call it the Petra effect. <sighs> Let's go to the Yeti cave and see if, uh, if there's something there. I wonder if once she's challenged by seeing the Yeti, she'll be a little less interested in animals or something. Hashtag Petra effect. <laughs> and Ledge is in the chat declaring war on Petra. My superior understanding of technology tells me that the bell will ring when I pull on this string. Which I am completely in favor for. I haven't eaten yet today. Don't yell at me. I basically just woke up two hours ago. So I'm going to eat some pumpkins while I... Not actual pumpkins, but pumpkin candy. While I uh, play the game a little bit. Let's not pull the string right now. The ice cave seems to be mostly natural. But good old Cornelius helped things along in a few places. You can see traces of tools here. Hmm. Okay. The ice cave seems to be mostly natural, but good old Cornelius helped things along in a few places. You can see traces of tools here. Is that, is that all you're going to tell me about? The ice cave. Yep, okay, great. All right, move on. Look at the backpack. The Yeti does not seem the to care that I'm right here. The so solid it can't be used anymore. Hmm, but here the pickaxe could come in handy. Great, pick up the pickaxe. All right. Look at the scarf. And then probably take Up the here, scarf. Being able to knit probably isn't quite as pointless as it is elsewhere. I can imagine there's a market for warm socks and scarves. Take the scarf. I'm not cold, but there's a loose thread here. I'll take that. Let's call it pure malice. Great, take the thread. All right, next, look at the paintings. A gruesome hairy monster and his friend the Yeti. That Yeti is a live action video of me making a family sized strudel at one in the <laughs> at one AM. Oh God. Cornelius has really I need made food. himself at home here. He's probably spent years hunting for well, you know, his sanity. Uh great. Okay, look at the horseshoe. The horseshoe is hanging too close to Cornelius for my taste. He's got quite a reach in his Yeti disguise. Take the horseshoe, which you probably won't do. The horseshoe is hanging. Yeah, got it. Okay. Uh, take the lightsaber. That's a weapon for <laughs> Yeti Knights. Nate, 
No. Uh, it's impossible to top the Yeti Nightline. No, it's not. Take well, the I'm lightsaber. Not say anything else. If it works, take the lightsaber. God damn it. Okay, go to the right then. Or I'm don't. I'm not getting any closer. I've already been in that lunatic's pot. All right, so that means what we've got is a leather rag, a wooden plank, a spring, and a pickaxe for some reason. Uh, can I combine anything with anything? Mm, nope. Okay, so I've got a pickaxe, a plank. Uh, okay, let's go ring the bell and see what happens. Maybe I have to set up some sort of trap to knock out Cornelius slash the Yeti. I might as well climb back into the cooking pot. Huh, at least it would be warmer than here. Okay, so you don't want to do that. So we do need to set up some sort of trap. Oh, I forgot I had thread, too. No, okay. Alright, well... I am immediately a little stuck, because I'm not sure what to do. We've got leather, a plank, a spring, a pickaxe, and thread. This is as close as I'm allowed I'm to get. I'm not getting any closer. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Uh, oh, I can still. Can I look at this stuff? Okay, as I can long as still that look at this stuff. Is there, I can't see what's in the cooking pot. That's fine. Um, you have to wonder where cannibals and other man eaters always get these gigantic pots. I'd like to talk to Cornelius, but unfortunately, Cornelius thinks he's a 300 pound man eating yeti. Hmm. There's a Yeti in the way. Okay. So I need to get him out of here first, I guess. Hmm. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna look at the guide real quick. Uh. Combine the thread with. Oh. Oh, okay. Smooth the ice wall. Use the pickaxe on the, the ice, ice wall. as well as I can with a flat side. I don't know why I'm doing this. Hmm, not bad. I made the a ice hole. Forms a more or less smooth surface. I won't get it any smoother with a pickaxe. Okay. Why did I do that? The ice forms a more or less smooth surface. I won't get it any smoother with a scraper. Polish it with the rag? Why? I'm looking at the guide. All I'm right. like, what, what it, would this do? And here's another happy surface. It gets to reflect me. Okay, now pull the string? Oh, we're going to confuse him with the mirror? Is that what's going on? <laughs> Oh, he's going to see himself and knock himself out? <laughs> he scared himself. Everything, everything okay? This is ridiculous. Uh, the, uh, the Yeti! I found the Yeti! Really? Yes! Yes! He's there in the wall! Oh, be careful. He's aggressive. Oh, God. He's got one of us! <sighs> oh, yeah. A very good-looking young man. Then there are two, or... Oh, no. Do you know what this means? I have to, uh, I have to rethink my strategy. Don't let that hairy devil fool you, my friend. Great. Let's, uh, let's go over there and start stealing his crap, shall we? It's beginning with the horseshoe. A horseshoe. Some people say horseshoes bring good luck. Others say they're shaped pieces of iron that get nailed to horses' hooves. Great. Take it. 
All right, next, let's look at the clay pot. All right, what have we here? A white powder, salt, drugs. <laughs> the latter could explain Cornelius's condition. That sugar. Huh, may I use some of it? Help yourself. I have more than enough of it. Lately, I've been drinking half as much tea as usual. Great. Take the sugar. Thanks. Next. That does look like a pile of cocaine. Let's look at the greasy pan. One drugs, mm, please. Pan says is rancid with fat and black inside. Ew. My grandma always said you should never wash pots because of the taste. May I use it? Why not? As long as you don't wash it. Ew. Gross. Take the pan. The pan is hot. I could fry something. Oh, got it. I wanted to. Okay. Uh, Cornelius look at the scientist. Cornelius again. Well, you know. Okay, talk to Cornelius. Hey, Cornelius. No, oh, hello. <sighs> I'm an old man. I bet you already have a plan to catch the Yeti, don't you? No, not yet. My stomach is growling. Oh, it's as if I haven't eaten in days. I could easily turn cannibal. And your growling stomach keeps you from thinking? Indeed. Uh, but fortunately, I have everything here I need for a healthy vegetarian sandwich. A vegetarian sandwich, you say? What do you say? Could you let your loyal fellow hunter have a bite of your sandwich? Oh, I would love to, but, well... I only have this one sandwich, and the full functionality of my brain is extremely important for our undertaking. One right. sandwich isn't enough to ensure the full functionality of your brain. We shall see. <laughs> uh, I need a sandwich. I really should have gotten some food. Uh, let's see. It's your... Uh, maybe we should build a Yeti trap with the sandwich? Sure, let's go with that. Maybe the sandwich has a higher purpose. What higher purpose could it have than to be eaten by me, digested, and shut out in a... <laughs> it could become a Yeti trap. No what? Well, we put the sandwich outside in the snow to lure the Yeti. No, you can forget that. The Yeti is a carnivore, and I ran out of jerky weeks ago. Besides, I've tried that. Every time I set a trap and lie in wait, the Yeti fails to appear. Amazing. It's as if he knows where the trap awaits him. Great. Hello, Jinergy and Okami. Thank you both for joining the stream. Uh, it's, uh, it's your duty to give me something. Can you, in good conscience, allow a young man who has always believed in you to starve Great discoveries always demand great sacrifice, my young friend. If you starve to death, you will have died on the altar of science. Uh, huh. Hmm. Hmm? I was just thinking... What are you thinking? The Yeti is an extremely cunning creature, right? Of course. Otherwise, he would not have escaped me for so long. And wouldn't a cunning creature set every conceivable trap to stop his most dedicated pursuer? That can be assumed. And you want to just eat a sandwich? A sandwich whose ingredients have been lying around here unguarded all day? What was the Yeti doing here in your cave? Think about it. You are right. Nothing was stolen. Nothing destroyed. He wasn't here to steal or destroy. He wanted to... to kill. You're amazing, oh, Nate. Exactly. I... I don't know how to thank you, my clever friend. Complete your mission. That is thanks enough. And, um, I should take the bread to the lab for analysis. <laughs> <laughs> certainly, certainly. Uh, take it away. Being charismatic is useful when you're also surrounded by idiots. Then I shall have to consider my plan with a growling stomach. Uh, I have to beat the Yeti with his own weapons. Perhaps I should disguise myself. Sure. Do that. Okay, can we lock yourself in? There's no reason to do that right now. 
But uh. if Cornelius should slip again and turn into the Yeti, I could go there for protection. Okay, so... Can I cook the sandwich? I cannot cook the sandwich. The pan is hot. I could fry something, if I wanted to. Can I to. combine the sugar with the sandwich? Oh, shit, that's a delicious-looking sandwich. Son of a bitch! I'm very hungry. All right, let's get out of here and go talk to Petra. Maybe she'll trade me the antenna for her for the sandwich. And apparently, Ledge feels his brain cells leaking in the chat after dealing with Cornelius. That's all right, Ledge. He's one of those scientists who shares his knowledge with everybody, including his negative uh, intelligence. Addition by subtraction. Here, have the sandwich, Petra. Save my stop point and click. Would you like something to eat? Hmm, what are my choices? Yes or no? Hmm. Yes. All right. I've got a sandwich here. I'll give it to you if you give me your protest sign. Can it be that Even easy? Human, you don't do anything that's not in your own interest. <sighs> Even an animal wouldn't give something to another without gaining something. Only because we anthropomorphize animals. What? I'm not going to just give you the sandwich. Then forget it. Damn it. <sighs> uh, can I clock her upside the head with the horseshoe? That would certainly work. Uh... Uh, can we knock her out with a wooden plank? Or, oh, I've got thread. Can I get a fish or something? Or no? Hmm. Let's see. All right. Before stepping in, pick up the spring. Use it. Oh, what? Head toward the sanctuary. Before stepping in, pick up the spring. And use it on the metal plate. Why? Oh my god, look at the baby critter. He's Could so cute. The spring through the grommets. The spring is now firmly connected to the metal plate. Okay. If I had a little painted hippogriff, we could all have a lot of fun. Uh, combine the thread with the horseshoe and use it to look down the spring. What? To look down the spring? Look at the metal plate with the, the spring. The spring is now firmly connected to the metal plate. Right. If I had a little painted hippogriff, we could all have a lot of fun. I, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Combine the thread with the horseshoe and use it to look down the spring. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. All right, we'll deal with it in a second. Look at the critter, baby. Oh, isn't he cute? He's super cute. I want Good one. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Oh, what was that? Uh, my youngest. Um, is he okay? His voice. Uh, born here. Talk good. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, he does, but his voice is a little, how shall I put it, uh, unusual. Well, my little friend, do you want to watch the penguins with me? Repeats everything. He repeats everything he's heard? And in the voice he heard it in? And in the voice he heard it in? Fascinating. Huh. Fascinating. He darling. And now back to the game. <laughs> that might be, uh... Useful eventually. Uh, okay. Look at the critter. Some sort of technician. Great. Can Someone you talk like to him? That is guaranteed to be able to help with the Mary. But first, I have to bring the critter's antenna back. Right. That's another. Can we? Can I go into the building? What are the critters hiding in this cave? If even somebody like Monkus is after it, it must be incredibly valuable. Go and talk to Petra about the protest sign, then back to the workshop. Uh, oh, I did that already. Okay, talk to the critter baby until you receive the screwdriver. What? Gucci, Gucci, Goo. 
Uh, that sent a shiver down my spine. Yeah, it's... Do you understand what you're saying? A little creepy. There, there's nothing to laugh about, my little friend. Ah, uh, you don't. Well, my little friend, do you want to watch the penguins with me? Give me a screwdriver. Well, little guy? Aww. Oh. range. Help not come. Not easy for you here, is it? Nobody else your age, far from home. He repeats everything he's heard, and in the voice he heard it in. See you later, kid. Mark says, Pyro, Ooh. for my birthday, I want a baby me? critter. Me too. Thanks. I would pick I him up everywhere. Great. Okay, now we have to go back to the Yeti cave. You stay there, little guy. And keep banging your blocks together. Holy crap, so cute. Okay, now we have to go to the frying pan, apparently. Oh, I'm glad I'm following the guide, because there is no way I would have figured any of this shit out. So, you... Use the screwdriver on the pan with sugar and back to the work. Okay, so we put sugar in on the pan. The sugar is melting and forming a sticky golden brown mass. Yeah, there is no way I would have figured any of this crap out. Then you put the screwdriver on it, and then you've got a lollipop. I wound the sticky mass of sugar around the screwdriver. Sugar on a stick, so to speak. Right. I, I don't know how anyone would have figured this shit out. I am not good at adventure games. All right, uh, let's see. Put the homemade lollipop on the board. On the board? Oh, I missed a step back there. Okay, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. I see what I did wrong. Okay, so I need to put the wooden plank on the spring. That's the step I missed. Okay. Great. And then we put the horseshoe and thread on it. It could work. I don't know why. I don't know what we're doing here. Oh. Oh, you press okay. The spring and lock down the contraption with the horseshoe. The whole thing is under a lot of tension. And then we bait it with the hot lollipop, apparently. Or not? Put the homemade lollipop on the board and talk to the critter baby. Oh, okay. A voice in my head tells me that this is just not done. On the other hand, you're crazy if you listen to the voices in your head. Right. Then we talk to the critter baby. This is apparently going to do a thing. Are you going to fling the critter baby, Nate? Don't do that. You're going to upset everyone who's watching this right now. Everything okay? Oh, sure. God. Why wouldn't it be? Okay. <laughs> ah, shit. That's what I need to do to the kids who are bothering me outside my apartment right now. All right. Great. Now that we've done that, uh, let's head back to the previous room. Oh, critter baby. Ah, oh, let's pick you up. Ah. Oh. Ooh, what have we here? A snow critter. <laughs> That's how I like you. Aw. Oh. Just shove them in our pocket. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. Use the critter baby with the sandwich and give it to Petra. Oh, okay. Somebody doesn't like you, little guy. Wait, you put him in the sandwich? He made himself comfortable between the slices of bread. That's actually kind of fucking horrifying. And now we give that to Petra, who I guess will see it and cry? I've got a really nice sandwich for you, completely without ulterior motives. And without meat. Of course. Oh, God. Mm, all right. 
Your contribution to protecting <laughs> the environment will be noted. Oh, God. What was that? My secret ingredient, Hello, my lady. Oh, <laughs> Ah, God. <laughs> Okay, bye. No offense, kid. I I don't know why you just didn't bean her with the with the with the wooden plank, Nate. Gerald. Good old Petra forgot her protest sign. What a shame. Great. Take the antenna. Okay. Let's go back to the uh to the place now. Wonder where Petra went. Well, it's not our problem. <coughs> okay. Uh. Hi. Butter. You know. What? Um. What should I say? Children love butter. I. I got you the antenna. Ah, good. Father? Human antenna. That is good. So, you really are a master thief, human. Fetch our heart from the evil sorcerer ship, and our eternal thanks will be yours. That may be, but after the theft, I have to get out of here as fast as I can. You have to repair my ship. Make it so. I will have my best people work on it. I will send a partner to join you. I know he won't be much help to you, but... Aw, don't be mean to Critter. He's cool. He saved me from the Yeti, you know. He's a hero, and I'm sure he'll be very useful. Hot number. Your girlfriend? What? <laughs> hmm. Well, let's go. Don't get in my way, and we'll get along just fine. Well, I too like a woman there with long go. hair, Nate, Idiots so... Will repair my ship, and in a couple of hours, I can fly off with the old girl to a happy ending. I'll have to keep busy until then. I just hope I don't run into Munkus. Great. All right, I'm going to alt-tab for a split second so I can scroll the guide down a little bit. Uh, okay. <clears throat> there we go. Go back to the workshop. Now you can switch between characters. Stay with Nate. Head to the ice sheet, then to the... What? Okay. Apparently there's a surprise waiting for us once we go out to the next area. Hey, look at that thing in the background. That has just mysteriously appeared. That wasn't there before. Where'd Petra go? Why do I care? Go to the submarine. I'd rather stay away from Munkus. Oh. My hairy shadow will get suspicious if I don't do something about the submarine. Uh. Well then, let's scout the situation and get your heart back, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> that is how I'm requiring everyone to meet me whenever I finally do get a pyrocod. All right, take the canister. We'll just. I'll just steal it from this dude. He doesn't canister. seem to care. It could be filled with poison, salad oil, paint, or liquid curses. Take it. Great. Hmm. Uh, Cleaning solvent. Look at the wooden crates. Some transport crates. Strange shapes. Sorry. What? What's in there? Secret stuff. Secret stuff like? Rockets, grenades, explosives. You know, secret stuff. Weapons. Got it. That is some badass armor. Like, that's some really cool armor. I kind of wish Ruin could walk around in that when she's dark knighting. Look at the black guard. Hands. I lived in Red Harbor for a while and was always afraid they'd come and get me at night. Luckily, they rattled so loud that I was warned and able to hide from them. Uh-huh. Miserable tin can. Luckily yeah, great. Yeah, great. Uh, look at the submarine. I prefer open airships to a metal coffin like that. Imagine the stink when a troop of orcs is on board. Ew. That's pretty gross. Look at Submarines it again. Submarines were only invented a few years ago. 
Somebody must have thought it wasn't enough to wage war on the land, in the air, and on the water. Okay, look at the hatch. Or open it, I guess. The guards aren't standing there for no reason. They might even be guarding the hatch. Just a thought. I only just noticed the penguin. Hello, little penguin. Penguins. Legend says they once circled majestically in the sky. Does then it? something must Did have they? gone wrong. Great. Uh, I don't see anything special. I mean, except for a ridiculous flightless bird. Don't be a dick. Penguins, Penguins. are awesome. Dang. Shut up. Okay, so... Great. Uh, let's see. Use the canister on the ice hole. Got it. We're going back to the previous area. Alright, so... What? Oh! Hey, the work on the Mary has started. Sweet! Thanks, guys! Go for it, boys. My part of the bargain is as good as done. Ah. Let's talk to these. Oh, search the chest? Yeah, they yeah. These lunatics are incredibly strong. Still, it's hard to imagine Petra hiking all the way to the Northlands with this thing on her back. That's not a bad idea, Cam. I don't think it'd be enough. I, I, I don't think we'd have enough people watching this to get the reference, bottle. but Water is the that's only not thing a bad idea. Up here in the Northlands, at least in frozen form. What did I get? Oh, a glass bottle. Uh, okay. The bottle is much too expensive for mere water. I bet there used to be alcohol in it, and Petra just reused it. Gotcha. There used to be a label on the bottle. You can clearly see where it was glued. Hmm. All right. Anything else in the nope, chest? T-shirts and caps. If I need to make a fire, I know where to find them. Got it. Okay. Let's talk to the technicians. I hope they know what they're doing. At least they look nerdy enough. Nerdy enough. Hello. How's it coming on? Very broken. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, looks like it. Spare parts missing. Spare parts? Like what? A piston. A steam engine. You're missing a piston mm. for the steam engine? Don't you have something like that down in your workshop? No, too bad. And machine oil. Finest machine oil. Neat. Urgent. Damn. All right. I'll take care of it. Oil and a piston. Okay. All right. Uh, use the canister on the ice hole. All right. Filling it with water, Why apparently. Hmm. The label came off the canister. Give the canister and the glass bottle to the critter for storage. Okay. I love how the critter Here. stores things. Yep, just shove it down your throat. And the clean- oh, wait, 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 wait. Label. Oh, the label was a separate thing. Uh, okay. Stick the label- wait, what? Search the chest for a glass bottle. Give canister and glass bottle to the critter for storage. Then head to the Yeti cave. All right. For you. I guess take the label too. Take this. Use the canister on the ice hole. Stick the label to the glass bottle. Then enter the sanctuary. Oh, I get it. I have to do that as critter because Nate's not allowed into the workshop. I guess. All right. Label to the bottle. Great. Uh, all right, let's head to the sanctuary. <clears throat> um. Okay. Use the glass bottle with the label on the brandy to. Oh, I have to switch out his medicinal brandy. That seems mean. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I hope no one cares that I'm using the guide for this because, um, be because the, damn it, Akamara. Hold on. Ah, uh, it's a problem with streams that I have other things I have to do at the same time. All right, where is this medicinal brandy? Let's head upstairs. Oh, it's right there. Uh, okay, let's swap them. I 
I don't know why I did that, since I'm not talking to anybody. Hello. Hi. Very weak. Aw. Help back home. Oh, I feel bad for him. Um, get finest machine oil and a steam piston. Okay. Let's start playing with buttons and levers now. Okay. Great. Uh... Apparently that worked. He still drunk it, drank it. I have a bottle of brandy now, but he drank nothing. He didn't drink anything because the bottle was empty. Right? So, all right, whatever. Uh, on the right side, push both green buttons down, then head to the submarine. Okay. There are achievements I could be getting here as well that have to do with some of the items, and I just... I don't care. The guide has a good list of them all, but... Uh, it's fine you're using the guide, Pyro. Thank you, Soul. If we were not using the guide, we would be here for months trying to figure this out. Yeah, exactly. Some of, like, I do like the Book of Unwritten Tales, but like a lot of adventure games, it does tend to suffer from a little bit of moon logic. It wasn't so bad in the first game, I didn't feel. But this one seems a lot more moon logic -y. Although we did get through the first couple chapters without needing the guide. Alright. Uh, da, da, da. Switch to Nate. Oh, alright. Get to the submarine, then check out on the penguin. How you doing, penguin? I don't see anything special. I mean, except for a All right, I must have missed a step bird. here. Oh, use the bottle of brandy on the penguin? Okay, so I need the critter then. Get the penguin drunk on brandy. How would I ever have guessed to do that? That's insane. Uh... <laughs> Mark, when you come visit me one of these days, I'm going to get you drunk exactly like that. We'll just flip you over my knee and pour some booze right down your throat. Great. Uh, go to the penguin, apparently. Ah! Don't be a dick. He was just showing his affection. He was trying to hug you. Ah! Uh, really? Hooray! We just, just watched a man up. drown and die. Okay. Uh. <laughs> great. Let's. <laughs> Uh, get, uh, talk to the remaining guard and select the third option. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, it's a... a Alright, I guess they mean with Nate, so... Hold on a minute. Alright, talk to the black guard. If the critters don't have a piston, then I guess Monkus' ship is the only alternative. Sure. Okay, let's go. You and what do you want? Uh, my name is irrelevant. My name is irrelevant. I've got an offer to make to your boss. But an offer he can't refuse. Um, of course he can refuse it, but first he has to hear it. Hmm, there's something to that. Go on in. But if I can give you a tip, don't provoke it. Okay, great, thanks. We're gonna enter the submarine now. That is a tiny door. Oh, you're coming with me, Critter? You can go in. 
Cause that thing doesn't come on board. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kid. Wait here for me. That's all right, Critter. We need a man operating on the outside anyway. Oh, cool. Nice, uh, nice camera switch there. I like that. At least okay. this way, Critter won't notice that all I care about is the piston. Oh, don't be a dick, Nate. You know you're gonna ally with him eventually. Now someone's chopping wood out there. Do you guys see why I prefer doing this shit at night instead of in the middle of the afternoon? Especially since it's now nice and warm and we can still socially distance by ourselves in our yard. Like, come on, man. Stop making noise out there. I'm trying to record. I'm trying to record, neighborhood! All right, my name is Nate and I'm too young to die. Sure, why not? Well, wait a minute, I know you. Aren't you one of those little thieves from Groxen? I'm not a thief. No, of course not. You do what you have to do. Mm? That's the right attitude. You have to seize every opportunity that presents itself. That's the only way to get ahead in this world. So, what do you want? I have a lot to do. Uh... I need a piston for a steam engine. You have a ship. I have a ship. Shouldn't we help each other out? What? I wouldn't know what I would want from you. Well, I just happen to have a wish. I need a piston for a steam engine. Yeah. What will you offer me for one? What do you want? All I need to rid myself of my dear family is in that accursed mountain. Mount Doom? Rubbish! Down there, by those critters. How are those little guys supposed to help you gain power? They have something outrageous. A machine that can build machines. Um, what? I saw it with my own eyes. They pushed buttons to tell the machine what to build, and a short time later, it came out of the machine! Huh. Amazing. If that's a literal thing, that's that'd be amazing. amazing. It's fantastic! Be like a they replicator from Star Trek. Spare parts! But just imagine what a weaponsmith could do with it. Hmm? A warlord. <laughs> or... <laughs> me! All right, that you sniveling thing. Fantastic. Uh, what about the steam engine piston? Um, about the piston, I need. I was thinking. <sighs> I'll get you access to the critter's sanctuary if you'll give me a piston. Nate, no! What are you doing? What makes you think you can overcome their thick walls or their stubbornness? I've got an idea. I'm working on their behalf. One of them is out there accompanying me. They think I'll help them to get their... their heart back. Ah, I see. And of course, your skin is more important than their hide. I just want to get away from here and finally be left in peace. <laughs> hmm. I trust you. Once a scoundrel, always a scoundrel. You can get a piston from my crew in the engine room, provided you get me access to the Critter's Sanctuary. Hmm. All right. Good. I... <coughs> <coughs> it's obviously not a great thing for Nate to be a double agent, but I suppose I understand where he's coming from. Uh, let's just... Let's just go through the dialogue here. Evil lurks everywhere, it seems. Everywhere. Just like opportunities. I have been sent from one accursed spot in this world to the next, but I have learned to discover opportunities where others see only despair. I wouldn't have expected such lyrical language from you. I have a speechwriter. Had. He wrote a lot of crap. <laughs> I see. Ledge in the chat is suggesting we just drop ta drop a trow and take a poop in the submarine and hopefully the stench will kill Mungus. Then we can just take a steam engine piston. I would say that's a lot of work, but it seems to be a little less work than what the game wants me to do. 
Why weren't you sent someplace where there's more going on? Well, I'm the ninth of six children. Huh? What? We only counted the offspring that mother didn't eat immediately after giving birth to them. Wow. Ew. It isn't easy being a sixth child. Five older brothers and sisters to knock off. But I finally have a promising plan that will make me mother's favorite. <laughs> they will all respect me. <laughs> what sort of plan? You are too curious, my friend. Do you know why there are no curious people around me? Because you're smelly? <laughs> I'm, I'm not interested. Not at all. Not at all. Precisely. Great. Uh, the critters say you stole something from them. The, the critters behind the big cliff. Well, um, could it be that you borrowed something from them and forgot to return it? I never forget anything. I have their heart, true. And I will keep it until I get what I want. Maybe we could negotiate. I am not accustomed to negotiating. And I'm not about to start now. Certainly not in this matter. The heart will be the key to my meteoric rise. Well, damn. How could you steal the heart when it means so much to the critters? <laughs> A master stroke. I stumbled across their little workshop by chance a year ago. The hairy feathers were extremely busy getting their <laughs> sanctuary into shape, but they were lacking raw materials that aren't found in this region. And you pretended to be an altruistic friend in need? What would you have done? Hmm? I was able to catch a glimpse of the heart while it was in the machine. I knew I had to have it. So I sent them as many tools and materials as they wanted. I became <laughs> their <laughs> friend. Then I pretended to have a dizzy spell. <laughs> they took me to their sanctuary and thus within reach of the heart. And what are you still doing here? But I thought all the power was in the heart, you see. But it isn't. It doesn't do a thing. Nothing at all. It only works in the sanctuary, in the machine, which the critters are guarding with their lives. They would rather see it destroyed than let me have it. Huh. Okay. There's a lot of technology in this thing, isn't there? That all made sense. Oh, uh, only the very best. The Leviathan belonged to my brother Gorsh. Gorsh? Let me guess. He had an accident? No, I killed him to get his ship. <laughs> I've got to go. <laughs> very well. Go. Great. Okay. Uh, let's what? head to the right. What? Do not forget our deal. My success and your life depend on it. Sure thing. Right. And stay alert. These critters are not as stupid as they look. Anyone who can build this has extraordinary ability. Oh, he's got the heart on him. What is that? Good to know. This is the heart your friends are after. Is that a crystal? I don't know what it is. But there is no other like it in this world. This stone is not of natural origin, of that I am sure. Those critters have built it. It provided their sanctuary and their machine with energy until, well, until I stole it. It's beautiful. And immeasurably valuable. But I would not give it up for any treasure in the world. Hmm. My victory is nigh, and you will provide it for me. I know you. You are one of us. And our kind always seeks their own advantage. That makes you predictable. <laughs> Hmm. 
Right. No, no, go to the other room, Nate. No, why? I want you to check out the other room. Oh, I'm supposed to re-enter the sub and go check it out anyway. You know that feeling when you've absolutely got to have something? When you shove all rationality aside and live only for that one thing? No. <laughs> Like love. I mean, I was thinking lost, Come but on, sure, man. okay. We have a heart to conquer. <laughs> I was gonna make some sort of Kasumi or uh, Honoka, uh, not Honoka, Jesus, a uh, Hitomi joke or something. I don't know, so, something not a pervert, but I'm off my game today. By the way, if you're watching this live, we are gonna do some stuff afterward, uh, possibly. It depends on what the Akamura wants to do when she gets <laughs> home. Only. I went to see Munkus. He said I should get a steam engine piston here. The boss is giving you a steam engine piston? Ha, not even you believe that. What? Go ask him. Uh, well, I guess it must be okay. Wait. Uh... Are you looking at porn, sir? Is that your whole yeah. issue here? Now close the door behind you. Thanks a lot. I I have the piston. Great. I thought that would be a lot more complicated. Yeah, right? You would think. All right, let's get out of here. Uh Okay. Take a look at the ice hole. Wait, what? Uh re-enter the take the right door, take the left again. Wait, what? Hold on. Got to go back down. Go back down, Nate. Okay, then we have to go th to the left door, pick up a newspaper, and then go back to the ice sheet. Okay. That fat toad lounges around here while everybody else has to slave away for him. That is so unfair. You want to be that Why fat can't they toad. All slave away from exactly. Me while I Called it. You're a simple man, Nate. Get the newspaper, I guess. I've never been this close to the fat toad. Whenever I could, I left the room when he came in. A buddy of mine once jostled him by accident. Poor thing, whatever his name was. Pick up the newspaper. Really buddy, more of an acquaintance. And it wasn't a jostle, more of a barroom brawl. But the fat guy is evil. That's what I'm trying to say. Sure he is. Um, I assume this is a newspaper right here. Yes. Tabloid trash. Sensational gutter rubbish with a blood red logo. Take it. This edition Take the is newspaper. already two weeks old. The submarine has probably been at sea that long. How sad is it that even Mark points out in the chat that the guard on the right was looking at porn? How satisfying would it be to look at porn when you're wearing full armor? Get out of the room, Nate. What the? What's wrong with you? Get out of the room. Okay. Go up there. All right. Uh, give machine oil and steam pit. Wait, machine oil? When the hell did we get machine oil? I don't have any machine oil. Uh, give machine oil. I don't see when or how I was supposed to ever have machine oil. All right, well, whatever. We need to give him the piston, regardless. I got Critter my has hands it. On a piston for the steam engine. Very good. All that's missing is the machine oil. Critter has the cleaner, but what's glitchy, Cam? Is the stream glitchy? Anyone else having problems? Please let me know. Okay. It's hard to believe that these hairballs were able to create something as wonderful as the heart crystal. I'll put up a statue of pure gold in their memory in the capital of my empire. Shoot for the stars, Nate. 
All right, uh, I'm gonna step through this one more time. Step through the through the guide real quick. Head to the ice sheet, then to the submarine which appeared. Pick up the canister. Go back to the ice sheet. Talk to the technician. Search the chest for the glass bottle. Give the canister and glass bottle to the critter. Head to the Yeti cave. That's just nonsense. That's something for an achievement. Use the canister on the ice hole. Stick the label to the glass bottle. Enter the sanctuary. Use the glass bottle with the yellow label on the brandy to switch bottles. Push both green buttons down. Head to the submarine. Use the bottle of brandy on the penguin. Switch to Nate. Get to the submarine. Check on the penguin. Oh, what? Check on the penguin? Was the penguin... Wait, what? The water looks awfully cold. I wouldn't go swimming there. Uh... The water looks awfully cold. I wouldn't go swimming there. Get to the submarine, then check on the penguin. The penguin is not here. That might be hard mode. <sighs> Take the left door, speak to Mungus, and strike a deal. Re-enter the submarine. Take the right door, then the left door again. Pick up the newspaper. Exit to the ice sheet. Give machine oil and steam engine piston to the technician. Back to the submarine. Take a look at the ice hold, then talk to the remaining guard about a job. What? Uh, okay. Hmm. If I want to steal the crystal, I'm going to have to be able to move freely about the submarine, even in the engine room. All right, that at least makes sense. The idea. Maybe I will join the army after all. Hello, I... Why are you greeting yourself? I didn't. You said, hello, I... Ha. Could it be that the cold is getting to you? You've got to think of something to pass the time. Uh, can I sign on with your crew? Tell me, can I sign up with you? Sorry, we're full. I don't believe that. The guard over there ran off. What a bum. I mean, he's dead, well, but sure, that's... You can just say he ran off. Why? The boss has flying monkeys that he sends off to desert. When those monkeys find you, it's... Well, let's not talk about it. I'll just say, bananas, grammar book, and yellow rubber tree. You know what I mean? What? Not a clue. What about the job? We'll advertise. But I want Why the job. Why do you want to advertise the job? I'm here, and I want the job. Maybe so, but who says you're the most qualified applicant? Uh. There's nobody else here. <laughs> How are people who might be interested supposed to know about the job? Just a minute, we'll have it in a sec. It looks like he's got a can opener on his back. Okay. Let's look at the poster. The Shadow Army announces... They are seeking to fill the following positions immediately. One black guard, male. Oh, open the hatch. Good call, soul. I rather doubt the hatch can be opened from here. Nothing budged. Okay. Let's look at the... Uh, so we looked at the poster. Let's talk to the guard. Hi. Mm -hmm. I read your poster. About the want ad. Which job are you applying for? Which job do you think I'm applying for? I'm you? applying for the Ugh. only job that's currently being advertised. Bureaucracy, am I right? Please take a number. Uh, what? Oops, my mistake. But... Please take a number and wait until you are called. But... Have you been called? <sighs> Let's look at the number dispenser. Long live bureaucracy. Far away. On a desert island. Take a number. Number one. It helps to be lucky. Great. Okay. Call number one, please, sir. Hi. Mm -hmm. I have a number. I drew number one. 
Last night, have you been called? No, but... Please wait until your number is called. I've had it. Dismissed! Great. All right. Uh, number one. Number one, please. Hi. I'm number one. Number one. Here. That's me. Oh, very good. Are you here about the wanted ad? Yes. Uh -huh. Fine. Then let's see if you're a suitable candidate. I am going to ask you a few questions which you must answer truthfully. This aptitude test is crucial to your future career. And if I fail? You are welcome to try as often as you like. We in the Shadow Army believe in second chances. At least until you join. Okay, apparently I have to answer his questions with specific answers. threatened by a lunatic with a broad axe. You have a gun in your hand. What do you do? Answer two. I let him kill my mother-in-law, and then I shoot him. I use the opportunity and let him kill my mother-in-law. Then I shoot him, and I'm the hero of the day. Ha, ha, ha. Very clever. I like it. A goblin has hidden a significant amount of gunpowder in a human city. He was captured by the city guard, and you are conducting the interrogation. What do you do? Option three. I claim I know where the gunpowder is and receive a princely sum as a reward for the information. I go to the city guards and tell them I know where the hiding place is. Why? I'll receive a princely reward for the information. Then, I give them a false location and free the goblin while everyone is looking for the bomb. And finance the next attack with the gold! Splendid! You go far with us! You see a small child picking a lollipop with pleasure. What do you do? These are all ledge answers. Option two, I let the child eat the lollipop. He'll see what he gets out of it. Wait, really? I watch the child from my hiding place, rub my hands, and laugh crazily. Like this. <laughs> Why? All that sugar, the cavities, no nutritional value. The child will turn into an effete, chubby tub of goo, and we have won! <laughs> <laughs> A truly fiendish plan. Let's have it up. I'm gonna drink soda while he talks about that. You are really nasty, young man. You've got what it takes to become a good black god. Um, thanks, sir. So am I hired? Not so far. First, you have to complete a six-month work experience internship. Unpaid, of course. Of course. As an intern, can I move freely about the submarine? Of course not. You're only an intern. Rats. And what's my job? Latrine duty, for example. I'm making coffee in the engine room. Well, we all have That's to start case, somewhere. And of course, I accept. Welcome to the team. We are one big family. And now, dismiss. Hooray! I'm in the military. All right, time to alt tab again and scroll the guy down a little bit. Uh, oh good, we're almost done with chapter four. Okay, uh, I mean chapter three. All right, <clears throat> switch to Critter and give the cleaning solvent to Nate. Wait, what? Why did I even give it to him in the first place? All right, cleaning solvent to Nate. Blah, there you oh, go. Great. All right, uh, switch to Nate. Uh, head with Nate to the ice sheet to check on your airship, and then back to the submarine. Okay. How's the airship coming, guys? The piston will get them somewhere. Without finest machine oil, they'll never get the old girl in the air. Right. I must have missed a step somewhere, because... From everything I'm seeing, I think I'm supposed to have given them the oil at this point. So I think I have missed it. Alright, uh, it's fine. Let's just continue for now. Uh, back to the submarine. Enter the right engine room twice. Use the cleaning solvent on the bullseye window. 
Okay. Crew members only! I am a crew member. Well, an intern. Interns have no business in the engine room. But isn't that the coffee maker? Go outside for a second, I'll, I'll call you. Uh, okay. Well, I suppose if you're reading porn while wearing armor, no one is going to notice oh, uh, that you're looking at porn because the armor is. is some sort Never of mind. Here? I have soul in the chat. I'm you gonna. I'm gonna be nice and innocent and pure-minded right now. I'm a good boy. What? What is happening right now? Oh. Uh. Okay. Uh. Use the cleaning solvent on the bullseye window. All right. Oh, the port. That's not. A, what a do you mean bullseye window? Solvent, That's whatever. Right you thing. just said a round window. And we have a clean window. Great. Now someone can look in from the outside while I knock on the door. Time to ask Critter for help. Uh. Okay. Apparently now I go outside. Get out and talk to Critter about watching the engineer. Okay. How do I exit? Leave the room, Nate. Nate, leave the room. Nate? Nate, why are you not leaving the room? Exit. I saw exit for- oh, there we go. I had to click the exact set of pixels I needed. Okay, go up the ladder. Okay. Talk to Critter. Hey, Critter. Huh? Uh, you have to help me watch the engineer. I want to find out what the engineer is trying to keep secret from me. Maybe that will help us. <laughs> this is my plan. I'll knock on the door. He'll hide whatever it is he wants to hide. While he does that, you look through the porthole from the outside. <laughs> I know it's cold, but maybe it will help us get rid of the engineer. Oh, come on! It's for Layla and the heart! Sorry, Luca. Excellent. <laughs> Alright, re-enter the engine room and look behind the pipes. Let's go. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Nothing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Go out again. Talk to Critter. Ranger the room. Doesn't look behind the pile. Search for the completely inconspicuous spot. I hope Critter saw where the engineer hides his dark secret. I should ask him. Oh, this is character knowledge rather than player knowledge situation. All right. So go up the ladder. Ah, oh, that poor frozen fish. Oh, poor critter! We need to get you a little blankie or something, buddy. Alright, talk to critter. Poor guy. And? What did you see? Pull yourself together. You've got thick fur and stuff. <laughs> Frop? Hmm, I think I've just discovered a flaw in my plan. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> a cable? A, a rope! a pipe? So he hid the stuff behind one of the pipes. You see, it was easy. Whatever he's hiding, it's important to him, and he doesn't want anybody to find out about it. That could help me. Great. Uh, let's go back into the submarine. All right. How you doing there, Soul? Uh, you've been a bit quieter in this, uh, 
today's stream than you usually have. I hope you're doing all right over there. Let's look behind the pipes. Let's take a look. Great. Pretty magazines. With gnomes and kobolds? Uh, uh, I don't get it. I mean, it takes all kinds there, Nate. Don't, don't kink shame. Wow. What a... <laughs> What a cover! Gnomes gone wild, kobolds bear it all, and a few other magazines. I'm not going to describe them in any more detail. Lovely. Um, alright, so we've got that. Uh, exit and re-enter the engine room. Okay. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair, soul. All right, now we go back in. Go go back in. There you go. All right. Uh use the dirty magazines on the torpedo tube. All right, sure, why not? All right. I'll toss them as far to the back as possible. And then speak to the Excuse engineer. Me. What is it? There are these magazines in the torpedo tube. I can't really tell what sort they are, but they don't belong in there, do they? Uh, uh, magazines? Should I climb in there and get them? Uh, no, I'll, I'll do it myself. Uh, dismiss. Just as long as you don't close the hatch. We're closing close the, the hatch. hatch. If you say so. <laughs> oh my god. Great. Don't push the button. This button? Nate. Nate. Oh! You should have paid your interns a decent wage. And we've killed a second man by drowning him in his own armor. Great. Uh, let's get the cup of coffee. It's been a hard day's work. No problem. A nice hot cup of coffee. All right, now we get the hell out of here. And climb up the ladder. And now we use the hot cup of coffee on Critter so he stops, you know, dying. Here you go, buddy. I'm sorry. This will do you good. I don't know if we want you fully caffeinated, but whatever. <coughs> Okay, ready to go back to work? All right, what next? Cool. Uh, uh, get a hot cup of coffee, pull the level? What? Wait. Oh, there was another thing down here. Son of a biscuit. Ah. Uh, oh, all the back and forth and the animations. Also, I guess this means another position to open up another position opened up in the army if anyone wants to be an engineer. Of course, if Nate's around, you stand a, apparently a 66% chance you're going to drown in your own armor. All right, there's apparently a lever I need to pull somewhere. So, uh there we go. Use the lever. That's all well and good, but if Critter and I want to get the crystal out of here, I'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere with a furious sorcerer after me. My airship should be ready to go before we relieve Munkus of the Heart. Okay, so never mind. Apparently, I need the machine oil. Okay, so I have missed something somewhere. Give me just as... Uh, for the archive, I'll probably skip this part. Or time skip this part. Um, I know the image is frozen. It's only because I alt-tabbed, so no one panic. Um... Leather rag, wooden plank, thread, pickaxe, horseshoe, vegetarian sandwich, wood plank, spring, thread and horseshoe, spring. Oh, when he said combine the thread and horseshoe and use it to look down the spring, they meant lock down the spring. Okay, so that was just a typo. All right, I get it. Baby critter till you get the screwdriver. Screwdriver, homemade lollipop. 
The ice shoe, use the horseshoe with the thread on the spring again, pick up the lollipop, tug the critter, baby. Uh... Lollipop, critter baby, use the critter baby in the sandwich, give that to Petra. Get back to the workshop, ice sheet canister, talk to the technician, search for a glass bottle. Give the canister and glass bottle to the critter. Talk to Cornelius, get, lock yourself in the cell and talk with him again, say the wrong password. And get the achievement psycho trickster, switch to critter. Use the canister on the glass, on the ice hole. Stick the label to the glass bottle. Enter the sanctuary. Use the glass bottle with the yellow label to switch the on the brandy to switch bottles. On the right side, push both green buttons down. Head in the submarine. Use the bottle of, of brandy on the penguin. Switch to Nate. Get on the submarine. Check the penguin. Give machine oil and engine piston to... Yeah, this isn't telling me where to get the engine oil. Or the machine oil. Okay, we're gonna have to actually look around then, because apparently the game is not going to tell me. So, or the guide is not going to tell me. So we need to figure out where the engine oil is. Okay, if you're watching this on the YouTube cut, uh, Cam found the solution on an FAQ. The Steam Community Guide, guide mentions talking to Cornelius again. But the Steam Community Guide only mentioned that you do it for an achievement, so I didn't realize this was actually part of what I needed to do. Hey, Cornelius! What is the code word? What code word? Code word? What, 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 what code word? The password I gave you. I'd like to give it to you, Cornelius. But first you have to tell me what the word is! I, I didn't. No. And... Why do we need a code word? Don't you understand? The Yeti in the ice! Uh... First, the Yeti was there. Then, I looked again, and suddenly there was a scruffy person. A prisoner, as I first thought. Yes, and then there was a good-looking adventurer. Precisely! Now you understand! Well, not exactly. Don't you see what this means? The Yeti is a shapeshifter! Is it? Is that what it means? Uh, I need machine oil. Do you have any? I need the finest machine oil for fixing the Mary. Hmm. I've got very good oil. A whole can full. Excellent. But I can't give it to you. Uh. Well, I need it for my Yeti disguise. I don't need much, just a few drops. And what if those few drops should make the difference between victory and defeat? What if I'm sneaking up on the Yeti, and just before I pounce on him, my suit squeaks? And then I would think, if you hadn't given that nice young man your fine machine oil, then... All right. That means I'll only get the machine oil once you've caught the Yeti. Correct. Terrific. Hello, Trey Trey. Thank you for joining the stream. Uh, about the machine um, oil. About the oil. I still haven't caught a Yeti. Yeah, but... No buts. I need the oil for my Yeti disguise. Uh, okay. So the Yeti is a shapeshifter, huh? And since the Yeti is a shapeshifter... I can never be certain what form he will use to creep in here. And thus, the code word. Correct. The hairy beast has led me round by the nose long enough, but I know his secret now. Aha. Uh -huh. And what is the code word? Melon. Melon. Okay. Uh, bye. Bye, Cornelius. Try not to fall on your head. Mm, okay. All right, ask for machine oil, but Cornelius will only give it if the Yeti is caught. Catch the Yeti. Look at the cell at the right and lock yourself in. Nate walks in, closes the door. All righty. Oh, I've got an idea. Do you? If Cornelius is as crazy as I think, I might be able to get him <laughs> out of the way with this. Uh, 
Okay. Hey, Cornelius. What is the code word? And then it says, give him the wrong word, which I guess is Bratburger Liverwurst? Bratburger Liverwurst. You! You are the Yeti! And you are in the cage! Looks like it. Then, then, I've won! If you say so. This is fantastic. Just a moment. That was too easy. Huh? Why did you lock yourself up? It, it makes no sense. Unless you, um, oh, you, uh, you lovely creature. Are you comfortable there in the cage? Uh. <laughs> Here in the cage. May I, may I, um, perhaps give it a try? This cage? Yes. Uh, why not? Well, um... No, oh, come on! Or are you hiding something? No, but... <laughs> All right. What is happening right now? This is weird. Yes! Finally, I've got you! Oh, no. What? <gasps> You thought you could trick me, hmm? didn't you? Hmm? But no, not me. Not me! It was a fiendish plan. You gradually took everything from my cave into the cell and wanted to make me believe I was free when I was actually in the cell the whole time. How long were you going to play this game with me, hmm? Yeti? Well... You were a worthy opponent. <laughs> oh, yes, I admit it. But in the end, I was simply smarter than you. <laughs> now, you are trapped, and I will finally be able to prove your existence to my colleagues. As soon as... As, as soon as I find the secret door to the outside. Well, I admit defeat. No. <laughs> Sometimes I thought I was losing my mind, <laughs> but it was worth it. Oh, yes, it's all worth it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you win. I'm more interested where... Ah, there it is. Wow, Cornelius. Good luck, buddy. Can of the finest machine oil. Just good luck. All right, we're just going to get the hell out of here and not talk to him anymore. Uh, let's, uh, let's leave Cornelius to his, to his lunacy. Uh, Trey Trey is also Mugen Fool from YouTube. Yes, I do remember you. Thank you for joining the stream. I can't remember if you've joined one of our streams before, uh, before this, but I'm glad that you are here. machine oil. Excellent. There you go, buddy. Now you have everything you need, don't you? Yes. Finish soon. Terrific. Then I'll get you your heart. Good friend. Okay, so I... <sighs> don't be too sure about that. Aw, oh, Nate. Nate may be constantly acting in self-preservation, but he does have a conscious. All right. There we go. Yep, left the area, came back. Now the airship is good. Wow, that is terrific. Gagaloo! Thank you both, you've saved my neck. Gagaloo, indeed. You heart. Of course I'll get the heart and, and um, give it to you. Very good. Wait You're there. welcome. Okay, I'll bring it to you over there. Great. See you soon. Bye. Oh man, you critters really shouldn't be so nice to me. Aw, poor Nate. All right. Oh yeah, okay, there's just straight up no airship. Um, look at the Mary. The two critters have done terrific work. Part of me wants to climb up there and head for the hills as fast as possible. Another part of me wants to steal the most valuable gem in the world, then head for the hills and live the life of a king. I think I know which part will win. Yeah, all right. 
So now we go to the submarine, we enter the submarine, we pull the lever on the right side, and then something will happen. I'm gonna alt tab again, scroll the guy down a, uh, down a step, go back in. All right, let's go into the engine room. Apparently flipping this lever just opens the hatch outside. Yeah, okay. Talk with Munkus and then re-enter the engine room, okay. It's always a huge relief when I get through a talk with him without spilling the beans. I'll only talk to him when there's no other choice. Aren't you done, Nate? It's always a... I'll only... Let's see. Uh... Hmm. There's an opening in Monkus Mike. Unfortunately. Maybe Critter needs to go into the pipe? The hatch? Yep, climb into the hole. Okay, got it. We're, we're just... Sort of telepathically talking about what's going on right now. That's fine. There you are. Hurry up, in here. This pipe will lead you to the heart. At least I hope so. Oh, so that I'll whole convoluted Marcus. mess was you just to get heart, Critter into the sub. Back here, okay? That's all, Luca. Okay, we're gonna talk to Monkus well, then. What is it? Um, something terrible happened. Yes. What? Uh, the engineer has disappeared. The engineer has disappeared. Hmm, that is regrettable. I will send my flying monkeys after him. Is that all? Uh, let's. Ha. <laughs> oh. No, something much worse happened. Critter, and it's to the right. Is? Critter, use your eyeballs that are barely attached to your head. The ship's sinking. That is not even worthy of a response. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Uh, why would I say this? Why would I say that? Sure. The critters have hired an unbelievably smart and also very attractive burglar to steal the crystal. I thought they hired you. Besides, we already knew that. Well, out with it. What happened? I don't think it's that important. Perhaps I gave you the impression that I'm not busy and would like to have a chat with you. Um, no. Perhaps you think I'm here to find wonderful new friends with whom I can talk about completely unimportant things? I think I'd better go. I think I'll have you shot from the cannon if you waste my time again. Won't Jeez, happen again. Jeez, okay, Monkass, calm down. Enjoy your to magazine. Never meet again, you horrid old toad. Yeah, but you're gonna, Nate. That worked great. Now I just have to get the heart from Critter and get away from here as fast as possible. Yes, climb the ladder. That worked great. Oh, he's probably still in the engine room. I understand. Okay. Critter, do you have the crystal? Critter. Whoop. Let me have it. What? Where? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, little fella. I've got to do this. Do you, though? Do you really need to? Keep your chin up. Nate? Nate! Ah, oh. Turn good, Nate! Stop being chaotic neutral! Don't be ledge! Come on, Nate. Think of all that gold. Think of all the freedom and safety it means. The little fellow will get by on his own all right. And besides, he wouldn't risk his life for you. Yes, he- what he- he just did! Nate? Oh, hey, Layla. How nice. You hot? Uh. Behind you, a three headed penguin! Of course, you could say. 
Look behind you. A three-headed penguin. Actually, you were supposed to turn around. Nate? Thief? Uh, you should see it from my point of view. Do you know what the crystal would mean for me? Wealth, security, a carefree life. Yes, but alone. Bought friends, bought happiness, as long as gold is left. I can live with that. What sort of person would I be if I let this chance get away? Better one. Ooh, burn. Uh, but I'm not a thief. I'm not a thief. It's not that I wouldn't love to help you. Ugh, I could finally start over and leave behind all the crap that always <laughs> happens to me. And us? You leave everyone in lurch? Father die? Ugh. Playmates? Your fault. Oh. Layla, cutting right to the heart of the matter. I... Oh! But I really thought I deserved a little luck for once. I... Oh, all right. We'll free Critter and then go to your leader. Good decision. <laughs> Have you seen anyone as selfless as me? To the end, Nate. Keep that confidence and br br bravado. That wasn't the word I was trying to say. To the end. I'm so incredibly selfless. And humble. We'll talk about that when we discuss the finder's fee for the crystal. Don't tell me our thanks is payment enough, all right? Yeah, God, it's such a... It, it's such a burden being the best Twitch streamer and YouTuber who's on the internet. Yeah. God, I'm such a hero Idiot. for making Come these on. videos. Come along. I... I can enter your sanctuary? Hero friend. Aww. You're very nice, Layla. Wow. That isn't gnome technology. That's... What is that? What is the human doing here? He friend. The human got you this. Uh, the heart. And for that, I deserve the biggest medal you throw rugs have. <laughs> or even better, a couple chests of gold. And with that, I've made Mizaz and Munkus my arch enemies all in one day. I hope you're satisfied. I've got to get out of here. The sooner the better. What's this? A port key? Intruder what? alert! Too late. <laughs> it seems my plan worked. A rogue who wanted to play the hero. <laughs> you are too transparent, Nathaniel Bonnet. Thank you for your help, Nate. <laughs> they thought you would finally bring their heart back to them. But you brought their downfall. Do you know what a port key is? Mm? It is a portal that connects one place with another. My submarine with this sanctuary, for example. <laughs> uh. Round up the critters and lock them away. Take our Good time to scratch your ass, Critter. To the submarine. I don't want them hanging around here. And the two of us. We are going to have a little talk about a machine that can build machines. Oh no! That's the end of chapter three. And this one has taken us a while. It's been nearly two hours. Actually, about two hours on the dot. Is it me or is the ice melting? Into the boat with you! Stop! Mazaz! You can have the hairy thing! The hairy human must come with me! Wait the orc! He's a prisoner of the noble and revered Monkus of the Black Tower! He's coming with me! And he's going to pay! Well, you know, I'm, I'm really a prisoner of what's-his-name of the Black Tower. Get off the submarine this instant, or... Uh, boys, I don't think you should... 
hot. Oh, Mazaz, you're awesome. Also, you've got to be freaking cold. What the? F uh, critter, what are you doing? Whoa! Damn, critter. Flying headbutt. Okay. No! <laughs> Quick, to the Mary. It's our only chance. Stay right there! Why the VCR style fast forward and that rewind in the corner? One. That was so weird. Where is she? I can't see her. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Critter. Ah, don't worry. She'll be fine, I'm sure. We'll figure this out. Orcs. Orcs? Come on now, it wasn't our fault. How are we supposed to know that Monk has put a hex on the crystal? Your boss wanted the heart, and we gave it to him. We did the right thing, thereby bringing disaster upon your whole tribe. Nate. <laughs> I'm sorry, too, but what are we going to do? Are we supposed to go up against an orc bounty hunter and a sorcerer? <laughs> we would need a whole army, or... Or a magical weapon. Sorcerers cannot be hurt by regular weapons, but a powerful magical weapon might help against a sorcerer as well as an overly motivated bounty hunter. We could fly to Seastone and talk to the Archmage there. Since Mortroga's son is involved, he might be interested in helping us. Maybe he's got a Sword of Guaranteed Victory plus three or something like that. I think that's our <laughs> best chance. Let's go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I would love a Sword of Guaranteed Victory plus three. So would ruin, for that matter. I'm actually getting the hang of how to steer you. We're having good luck with the winds. We're just having good luck with the captain. I thought we were going to see Stone. <laughs> no problem. I'll just turn this and, uh... Watch out for the mountains! Turn to starboard! I said starboard! You know I'm not familiar with all that nautical stuff. Port is left. Right Starboard is right. Left now. Uh. Later. Much later. Ah, oh, <laughs> Ah, Sea Stone. <laughs> Haven't been here since. Hey, this you know, feels. Since they kicked me out. I don't know. Nostalgic. And it's been a while since we've been here. Mage's Tower of Sea Stone. Ooh. That is a pretty moon. It is also right up in our faces. Somewhere up there. He'll help us. Come on. Great. But that's going to be the next chat. Oh, God. <sighs> Were you just hanging onto the back of the airship the whole time, Mazaz? No. Where did you go? Oh, jeez. Well, that's going to do it for today's... Uh, Book of Unwritten Tale stream for Soul, but I have a plan. Really now. So Call me old fashioned, but I like my puzzles logical, my perspective realistic, and my pictures mute. <laughs> and you are? Mordred Michael Matilda Alistair, Archmage of Seastone, Guardian of the. The Archmage is just a picture? Ha! Oh, of course not! I am just a portrait of the Archmage. Alright, give me just one second if you're watching this live. I'm gonna be mute myself. Hold on a moment. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna cut this part out for the archive. Uh, we are basically done with um, today's episode of the Book of Unwritten Tales, but I really have been wanting to play some Legend of Mana, so as soon as I do the full wrap here for this stream for the archive for YouTube, we'll switch to Legend of Mana. I will have to terminate the stream so I can reset it 
and do a couple things over on my end because the Akamura needs the second monitor. But, uh, so we will be ending the stream in about five minutes or so and then hang on another five minutes and then we'll do some Legend of Mana here on Twitch. Okay? We all good? Of course, that just means I'm probably going to keep Soul up for five hours, but whatever. <clears throat> all right. Cutting myself back in for the archive. Okay. Uh, the idea with the talking paintings appears to be stolen. What? Oh, from Harry Potter. Living paintings Dur in a mage's tower. I don't know. What are you trying to hint at? Could it be that I read about this before in a book? So what? The idea is stolen. We were here first. Yeah, right. Wait, what, Cam? <laughs> and you for what? Oh, as far as not getting sleep for five hours? <laughs> is that what you meant? <laughs> But yeah, uh, I, I just was saying that so we're all on the same page, because I have to terminate the stream, but I didn't want anyone to leave, because I'm just going to be resuming immediately. Um, uh, otherwise, I'm not entirely sure what you're referring to that and me, but yes, I, I hope you all enjoy The Legend of Mana. I've been itching to play it for a while anyway, and that's I'm giving that one away for free. That has nothing to do with Patreon stream. I'm just wanting to play The Legend of Mana. I have to talk to the Archmage. Where is the Archmage? I need to talk to him. He's not expected back until tomorrow. He's monitoring the Beltane festivities abroad as an outside observer. They had terrible riots there last year. Some vampires bit a bunch of winos and got so drunk that they went after the witches. I can't wait until tomorrow. I am probably can't go up to the Archmage's office and borrow something from him. Um, probably not. <laughs> Great. Uh, bye. I gotta go. Nice hanging out with you. <laughs> oh, I've heard every picture joke in existence. All right. Well, we're going to deal with this MC Escher painting in the next run, probably next month. Thank you again, Soul, for your donation to Patreon. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, check the video links. I mean, the links in the video description. I always say that. For links to Patreon, PayPal, and other ways you can support the channel. And at a certain tier, you can also choose what game we're going to be streaming. But since we've gone over two hours, that's going to do it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again soon for another stream.